This is Twit. Okay, my app is a voice recorder app called Parrot. And there are a lot of you know, voice recorder apps, I feel like, is, is one of those categories where there's just tons of stuff that you can find. So then it becomes it's like you're overwhelmed with choice, finding the ones that are actually any good, um, designed well. You know, sometimes I like to I like to locate those apps that are design, designed well and open source. So I feel a little bit more comfortable from a security standpoint that people you know have visibility into the app. Parrot voice recorder is that it's free and it's open source, although there are paid uh, there are paid versions of this app to get into the pro version. The free version is super capable. You can see it's a really clean design. Um, I can go ahead and tap the microphone, and it's recording. And one thing I really like about this, because I'm an audio nerd, I really like waveforms, and I really like <laughs> live updated waveforms. It just makes me feel happy to not see that it's clipping, and you know, which you you would see because it would be this like straight line up at the top. Everything looks healthy in the in the audio uh, quality that you're seeing on the on the waveform. That just makes me happy. I could pause it and then start recording later, and it would be a seamless recording. Or hit stop. That saves the the file out. Um, and you know, you can determine obviously prior to this, what quality you want to record it at. I happen to be recording it at an uncompressed wave 44, one, uh, Hertz. Um, and then, you know, give it a name, save it and boom, you've got some options on the post save, uh, to, to throw in there, but we don't need to get into that. Here's where you down here can select what the quality of your recording is. Obviously, if you go lower quality, like MP4 at 8,000 Hertz, uh, 16 kilobits per second, you're going to take up less disk space, uh, less drive space on your device. So if you have, if you're recording like lectures or multiple hours of stuff, you probably want to throw it on low quality, depending on how much storage you have in here, uh, or ultra high quality. If you're say at a concert or whatever you want to do, uh, some extra features like skip silence, you can turn that on. It will detect, uh, at a certain point, uh, a threat. You basically, you set a sound threshold and if, no sound is coming in through that threshold during a set amount of time. It will pause recording until it hears something that passes that threshold and then starts recording again. So, you know, maybe you have that recording while you're working and as you have ideas, you speak them out. And when you speak them out, it starts to record those ideas and then it stops automatically and those get compiled, compiled and condensed into a shorter amount of time. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, and then it has automatic gain as well if you want to kind of even out the levels of the audio that you're recording and not make it so jumpy between the really loud stuff and the really quiet stuff. Um, here's where all of your recordings are cataloged. It also has this share area where you can tap that and share directly to your cloud storage, let's say, or pretty much anywhere, as you can see here. If you do pay for Pro which uh, starts at $1.49 on a monthly subscription or it's it's 20 bucks for like a, an unrestricted, you know, that's it. You get access to everything forever, which is a little pricey, but they have all different payment levels within there. Uh, you get some extra features. It does have phone call recording capability in here and you can set that up to record automatically. Be aware of your local laws on this because this, <laughs> yes. you don't want to get yourself into trouble recording phone calls to someone that doesn't know that you're recording their phone call. But if it's really important, you know, a lot of people tend to use options like this when they're calling customer service and they want to, you know, the customer service is recording you. You can let them know that you're recording them as well. That's a way to kind of catalog and, and track your interaction with them, and that's saved people uh, in their interactions with customer service. That's just one example. And you have all these features to kind of tweak around that, which source that recording comes from, all the different ways that you can record, you know, whether uh, the, those audio streams of the caller and the microphone get merged and all that kind of stuff. You also get with the pro version scheduled recording. So if you have a certain time of day or week where you always want it to record automatically for you, your device is set up in a place you want to set up. Maybe you want to repurpose an old device to be, a, you know, a, just like a scheduled recorder for something in your life. You can add a scheduled recording and set all that up and tell it which mic it's using in order to do that to get the best sound out of it and all that kind of stuff. It just runs automatically. And then finally, backup. And this I really love out of voice recorders. If I can do some sort of easy backup to the cloud, that's what I'm going to want because a lot of times you record all these audio um audio files to your phone 
And at least for me, I switch phones a lot because of what I do. If I forget to move those audio files out of that random folder on my on my storage space here, um, and then I, you know, factory reset my phone, those files are gone. So having some sort of way to easily send all of them to one of my cloud storage drives, um, and you you just connect it, you set it, you forget it, and you can do it as you go. So it's really easy. Anyways, it's called Parrot Voice Recorder. It's a really, I think it's a really great uh, voice recorder app. There are a lot of so-so ones. This one's really good, and you should check it out, Parrot Voice Recorder.